Hey guys, just jumping back in. I'm really excited because it's about to rain. It's got, we got like a little overcast going on and the gray clouds are coming in. Our neighbors in the pool swimming. Ooh, it's thundering and stuff. And I don't know, I think I might've seen even some, a little bit of lightning, but anyway. So I'm gonna keep you guys posted. I'm gonna do maybe like a, a couple of day vlog and I'm gonna see if I can kind of vlog the different things that are going on with us, us in the nest. And yeah, I'm gonna keep you posted. All right guys, so I'm right here at my container here. But is it just me or do you have the gumption to sow seeds when you know that it's about to like storm like is it just me because I do I do I don't know what it is it's so strange when I when I see this rain and the storm coming I go grab seed packets I, I'm like I, I'm running all over the place trying to get some seeds in I mean it's just crazy I don't know what it is I love it it's something about it because look when the rain comes and hits the seeds it's something about it it just they germinate so much faster it they do so well they get such a good jump start and luckily i just put out the fertilizer so the, the tomatoes are going to be good because the, the fertilizer needed to be watered in so it's going to be so 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 great but okay i'm gonna go ahead and sow these seeds so here's what i got I got some Marvel of Four Seasons lettuce. I'm gonna put them in this container here. I'm gonna try this red salad bowl lettuce. And I'm also gonna sow the All Seasons Romaine blend. I'm gonna put that all in this container with some cilantro, okay? The cilantro is the only one that I'm gonna sow that needs to be really covered, okay? The other ones I'm gonna kind of shallow, I'm just gonna cast them on top of the soil and press them into the soil. The rain is gonna do the rest of the work for me. I'm also gonna go ahead and sow in a, four, a few more of these board hook nasturtiums. Um, and I had some Dollar Tree Sumter cucumbers that I wanted to sow up here in my container garden. So I might try to get that in real quick too before the rain comes. Because I have like some things like some, some lettuce and things like that in some containers that have already, you know, um, they're just tough and bolting and they're no good. So I might sow these instead. I gotta hurry guys, I gotta hurry. I'm gonna try to sh um, do it with you guys so you guys can see what I'm doing. My, um, what is this one? My Marvel Four Seasons is stuck. The packet won't open, hold on. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's funny, my neighbors, they got out of that pool. I'll tell you that much. They got out of that pool. All right, guys, here we go. Just going to kind of broadcast them across here. That's the marble for a season. Okay, this is the red salad bowl. Since that's red on that side, I'm going to put red on this side. Let's see if I can do it, guys. Casting them in. Woo! -hoo! Don't blow my teeth. Okay. And let's see what else I got. What else I got? What else I got? Um, hold on, hold on, guys. All right, so here's the Marvel of Four Seasons. I'm gonna put this. I mean, no, this is the All Seasons blend. I'm gonna put this one in the middle. Oh, I'm almost out of this one. Ooh, I'm almost out of that one, y'all. And you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna go ahead and stick a couple of cucumbers. I hope that's deep enough. That might be deep enough for these cucumbers. I'm gonna stick a few in there. Hold on. I had a few more seeds to go, you guys. But it's it started and I'm not, I'm about to run out here. I'm, I'm so serious, I'm about to run out here and put the rest of these seeds in. Cause I'm telling you, that is that is the optimal time to get your seeds planted. I know you know, it's not crazy. You just have to try it and see for yourself. Day two. Oops. Good morning, guys. Welcome back to the vlog. So before I get ready to go, I have a very important task that needs to be done in the garden this morning. I have to go and harvest my sorrel seeds. Um, they have been dropping in the garden, which is not a bad thing. If they receive themselves, that's great. But I want to harvest some of those seeds tons and tons and tons of sorrel seeds. So let's do that first and then I'll hit.
Okay, there it is. The sorrel has been dropping seeds everywhere and I just haven't made time to come out here and get the, get the seeds off of here, but they're definitely, definitely, definitely ready. So I'm gonna harvest them real quick and I'll be back. I just wanted to show you how tall the sorrel seed stalks are. They are at least four feet to five feet tall. They are dried and they're just super, 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 super long and very, very thick. But yeah, they are huge. Anyway, I thought you'd find that interesting. And, um, yeah, I hope you've been following along because you saw when they were blooming and forming, they were the prettiest pink little, tiniest little flowers I've ever seen. So yeah, definitely grow you some sorrel, add it to your garden. It's a perennial vegetable, lemony, zesty flavor, like a lemony spinach type of thing. Um, we really love it. I love it raw. When I tried to saute it much, it just, you know, withers down too much. It's just beautiful as a, a raw veggie. So, yep. Um, sorrel, sorrel seeds. Let's keep going. Okay guys, one more thing that I noticed that I needed to do while I was working with my sorrel is um, cleaning up the leaves that are closest to the ground. Um, there's definitely some white flies that have gotten underneath the base of the plant down there because it's really moist and I guess they're eating the plant. So I'm going to show you. Just keep your uh, leaves cleaned and keep the leaves off the ground as much as possible. So um, they droop though when they get hot, they they will droop. So that kind of will be impossible a little bit. Um, but what I need to do is mulch uh, more underneath. Ow! That was a wasp. What I need to do is just mulch underneath this plant as well because um, the mulch has been washed away. So that is what I'll do. But for now, I'm gonna clean underneath here um, and get the, the leaves cleaned up. Let me show you. All right, so um, down here, as you can see, it's really moist down in there. Um, so, and these are like some of the older leaves as well. And we have some newer growth that's coming in here. But remember, this was the, the seed plant. So um, I didn't really harvest from this one much. I was harvesting from that one over there. Um, but yeah, I'm just gonna finish cleaning it up underneath here. And um, I have my debris pile. This could be broken down, composted. This could be a chop and drop where you can chop it into finer pieces and bury it under your soil. That's so far uh, my seed harvest, but I do have a bit more to go. So I'm gonna finish doing this and then we'll mulch this over really, really well. Um, I think I'll do that later on when I get back. Okay, sorrel seed harvest for the day. All right, so let's go. Yippee! She's a lemon queen. She is the queen of the garden at the moment. Look at this one. This is the seed head of the sunflowers. I don't know if you can see it well, but this is a seed head and the birds absolutely love it. You can see where they've been pecking on it up there. <laughs> but I do like to get my seeds under there.
All right, guys, that does it for today. Give it a big thumbs up, and we'll see you all on the next video. Bye. Thank you.